On our canyoneering trip to Utah, we were lucky enough to do two canyons in one day. We started the day in Yankee Doodle Hollow, and then we finished up with a trip to Boltergeist Canyon. It took us a second to find out where this one actually starts, but once we did, we found ourselves at Rappel 1 pretty quickly. This canyon is an absolute beast. None of the rappels here are under 60 feet. The first rappel comes in right between 80 and 90 feet, and it's split up over the course of three stages. I'm definitely glad that we decided to do Yankee Doodle Hollow before this one because this was shaping up to be much more technical. Shortly after finishing Rappel 1, you will find yourself at Rappel 2, which is another very solid one. It comes in right between 60 and 80 feet and drops you down onto a ledge. Boltergeist Canyon has earned itself a spot pretty high up on my favorite canyons list. Not only are the surroundings beautiful, but it had some parts that were super fun and challenging. Rappel number three is probably the easiest one in the canyon, and it is another one that is between 60 and 80 feet. You start by rappelling down this chute, and then you have a nice little free hang at the end. As soon as you're done with the easy one though, you're on to Rappel 4, and that is probably one of the trickier ones of the day. It comes in at, you guessed it, right around 60 to 80 feet, but the start is very tricky, especially for a beginner. After you finish Rappel 4, you are on to the grand finale of this canyon, and it does not skip on the grand. This bad boy comes in between 100 to 150 feet of mostly overhang. Due to the fact that it opens up to a small valley, it looks like it's even higher than it is. There are a lot of grooves on the top of this one that the rope kind of slots into and you have to be very careful not to get it stuck. This was hands down the most massive rappel that V and I had done in our short canyoneering careers. And to say that it was exhilarating would be an understatement. If you bring a long enough rope, you can use it to get down the second smaller ledge as well. However, I have a feeling if you're a super skilled canyoneer, you could probably just down climb it. At the end of the adrenaline packed run through the canyon, Bolter Guy sent us off with a beautiful parting gift. The canyon lets out into a postcard perfect little forest, complete with a babbling brook and several waterfalls. If it wasn't for the fact that the sun was going to be setting soon and I wanted to be back at the car before it did, I would have loved to have spent a lot more time here. After the beautiful forest, there is one more butt kicker of a hill that will take you up to the road that you drove in on. And now for your standard disclaimer. Canyoneering is fun, but it can be dangerous. If you want to try it for yourself, be sure to take a course or at least go with someone who is highly experienced. If you enjoy our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Check us out on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official. And for more adventures, head over to thatadventurelife.com.